Hello, welcome back. Right, I've just carried on playing. Um, as you can see, um, I've tidied my board up a little bit and I'm going to make a necklace with this gorgeous pendant. I've already put my split rings on here because, um, yeah, I want it like that. Uh, so facing that way, I, I didn't want it like that because uh, if, I, if I had to put it on the the string the the wire um it would have sat like that on the necklace and i didn't want that so i've put one of my big rings and then i've gone smaller and then i've gone even smaller so that is ready to go on um, I've got all of my beads ready, as you can see. I'm probably going to put some more on. I've decided I'm not using uh, these ones. Uh, I'm just going to use the blue and the the champagne colour ones. And, yeah, I'm just going to thread them onto my wire. Uh, okay. Let's start from this end. And yeah, I'm just going to thread them all on <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> sorry, I've got <clears throat> a bit of a frog in my throat. <clears throat> Are you gone? Are you gone? It's gone. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've had a break. I've had a coffee. I've done a bit of printing, um, some Halloween uh, printing. So um yeah i'm doing this video the middle of october um and we haven't yet had halloween but this video will be going up in november um so yeah <laughs> um yeah <laughs> um i just wanted to you know play <laughs> play with my beads because it is all about the beads yes it is and then i think for my schedule i've got one more video to do um using the beads i mean i could do lots and lots and lots of videos using the beads but i think you'd get fed up after a while wouldn't you and um, my hands would heard <laughs> so yeah so straight after this video i'm going to get ready for my next one and it will be making keyring using oh, i'm supposed to be counting <laughs> instead i'm talking to you i love talking to you though uh two four six eight 10, 12, 14. So there's 15 on there. I want more. So 15. 16. So before the blue. 17. 18. 19 oh 20 so there's 20 on there it doesn't look like there's 20 on there does it but there is there um i'm just thinking i'm actually gonna put because i've got plenty of them I'm going to put 25 on each end. Where are you going? And I've dropped it. Where is it gone? I'll never find it. Oh, it was in my pocket. Oh, it's gone under my thing. Yeah, I should still have enough. So, is that 21? Twenty two. <laughs> <laughs> and 
25 we have a winner okay so now i'm going to start putting the blue ones on absolutely gorgeous these beads man and then it's uh one blue two champagne colored ones i'm going to call them champagne colored champagne color can't even talk now never mind the color uh yeah so two then one Some of them are blocked on either side because of when they get sprayed. Just need to open it. Open it up. But when you get a bead like that, don't put it to, to the side. Unless it's a glass bead, uh, you're never going to make the hole big enough. <laughs> um... But if it's one of these type beads and you find that um, the hole's a little bit blocked, it's just the lacquer um, that has coloured them. That's all. Because they're not real pearls. My goodness, if they were real pearls. <laughs> yeah. There's that one. There's that one. Right, I'm just going to carry on doing this. Um, so it's going to be the same all the way around. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put you on pause while I do it and then I will be back. I won't do anything else apart from put the beads on. Um, yeah, so won't be a second. Right, okay, so all of my beads are on. I've lost a couple on the floor, but yes, I'm sure I will find them eventually. Or the Hoover will. <laughs> yeah, um, I will try and find them because these are absolutely beautiful beads. So, um, yeah, I'm done with that. So what I'm going to do first before I put my pendant on is I'm going to do... Um, my closure my clasp so news one of these okay um, oh don't don't <laughs> um i'm gonna thread that through there like so let that fall down um i'm going to knot it this is what i like to do this is not what everybody does but this is this is me you do you okay uh, so I knot it like that. Then I get a crimping bead, little teeny tiny, gets stuck under my nails. Try and find the opening. Where are you? There you are. Do you want to drop it? Okay. So that is my my crimping bead on. So that will go all the way down to my knot, but won't go past it. So. What I do now is I take my crimping pliers and I push it together and there we go and then that and I stop shaking <laughs> I always shake when it comes to the fiddly bits uh, so please forgive me so that fits inside there like that I hope you can see that Okay, so I always make sure I've got my wire sticking out at the side then when I can get hold of it. Oh me! I just push it together like so. So my wire is sticking out of the side of it, which is uh, what I like. So before you actually close it completely, uh, you need... Well, this this is this is me. Um, I just want to get it through these little holes here. So I've got my split ring. Use the right pliers. So I'm gonna open that. Always open it towards yourself, like like that. Don't pull it apart because you'll make it weak, and it will snap. All right, oh, I've lost it. There it is. Get up. Okay. 
let's try that again right so you put it through both hoops on there like that um, before you close it up put your lobster claw on because this is how you are going to fasten your pretty necklace right, the shakes are coming oh yeah okay i've got it i've got it i've got it i've got it right so that is closed um i need my crimping pliers put it through my my hands and all i do is push that together just a little bit not a lot i don't really want to mark it um just so it stays together and then your bit of wire that is sticking out you want to go as close to your little closure as possible and clip it up and there is your closure a like so so there we go so because i've left it on my reel it's a pretty long mess <laughs> um i can cut it off um uh cut it about there say just so i've got enough to play with don't need that anymore right so as you know i don't mind a little bit of the wire showing on each end um but i need a little bit of give anyway because i need to put my my pendant in the middle um so we need to put another one of those funny looking claspy things on right try and get it up uh, two, two beads as far as you can um then my i want a little bit of give so let's do the knot here and if you go over to dawn's channel um she she knows what she's doing she knows exactly what she what she's doing um her first love is jewelry so yeah and then I want a crimping bead. Now, what I've learned, I've learned from Dawn. Um, she's a great teacher. Is that going on? Yeah. Yeah, she's an absolute amazing teacher. Very easy to follow. Um, I mean, if she wasn't easy to follow, I wouldn't be able to do much of anything because, yeah. <laughs> I'm not very good at um, following instructions. Um, it takes me quite a while to actually get the the grasp of things. Oh, come on, get in there. Oh, thank you. Right, so I want that off to the side. Close this up so your rings meet. Move your wire out of the way. Get in any more wire. right okay that's good uh, what am i getting that for i need a <laughs> this flip ring oh dear right so my split ring and then i've lost it keep dropping them don't i yeah. i mean if i use the right pliers and just keep hold of it keep hold of it claire it's not hard <laughs> you've got to be kidding me right let's get this in here before i drop it again right through both hoops and then close no 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 i need my um closure ring that my clip is going to clip onto get older you there get off right keep hold of it i don't want to drop it and lose everything i've just put on oh, can't seem to do this 
very very shaky when it comes to fiddly bits like this it's why i don't like doing things like this um i mean i enjoy it i really really do but yeah i shake quite a lot come on i don't know what i did there but there we go right that is on and now i'm going to squish this Sorry if my head's getting in the way. Squish, 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 squish. There we go. Squish together and get my cutter. Oh, no, I don't want to. There we go. Ooh. Right, let's put this together and get the pendant put on so there we go <laughs> I made it look harder than what it was didn't I right so I need to find my middle wow um so where is my middle there 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 is my middle yep Right, okay, let's see if we can do this without shaking. Probably not. Right, where's my opening? Mm -hmm. Down, drop it, Claire. Thank you. Right, let's open the split ring. Shake, shake, shake. Embrace the shake. I am. <laughs> I didn't embrace it. My goodness me. I think I'd go nuts. Okay. I'm going to make sure that this is actually fastened properly um, because of the wire is so thin. Um, you don't want them crossing each other, but you do want them fairly close together. So I'll give it a little bit of a wiggle just so it doesn't go either side. And there we go. Oh, okay. There is my beautiful necklace and it hangs the way I want it to. Um, so it's pretty long. You'd probably be able to put it over your head without unfastening it, but I wouldn't. <laughs> I just tried to there, but I've got my hair up in a bun. <laughs> so there we go. There is my long necklace using most of the beads um with a pendant on it i absolutely love that i mean who wouldn't love that as a present that's gorgeous isn't it and the fact that it's silver as well hang on i've just noticed this is not closed properly let me just do that there we go just pushing them together and there, oh, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased that that actually worked and turned out how I wanted. Um, I think it would have been a disaster if um, it hadn't have turned out. I'd have turned the camera off and walked away. <laughs> but I'm so glad it worked out. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? And then this will go around somebody's neck. Oh, it's gorgeous. I absolutely love that. Oh. So, like I said, I will be back um, to do my little bee key. Ooh. Uh oh. My little bee key ring. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm just going to carry on playing. Um, hopefully, I won't forget to turn the camera on. Um, so if you enjoyed watching, um, please give me a, a thumbs up, uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And if you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing and I will see you in another video Ooh, very soon. Bye bye for now.